Uh, my name is Dave Renault. Uh, I'm a veterinarian. I just completed my PhD in epidemiology and currently my position is a assistant professor in the Department of Population Medicine. So the pillars of my research is really focusing around veterinary uh, medicine and also focusing on, on epidemiology. And really what I want to get through uh, when I'm doing research is to um, understand risk factors that are impacting calf health. And currently my research program is focusing on uh, specifically how can we identify some um, calves at arrival that are at high risk for developing disease. And the reason for that is, is we want to try and tailor to have more selective antimicrobial therapy instead of doing group um, oral antimicrobial therapy, which is commonly done um, in the industry currently. So my research from the National Dairy Study was really focused around uh, male calf management on, on Canadian dairy farms. So specifically, I looked into um, how, how well are Canadian dairy producers feeding colostrum on, on, to male calves, or how well are they feeding male calves when they're on the dairy farm. And what we found through the research was that the majority of Canadian dairy producers are feeding uh, colostrum to male calves and are doing it quite well. And there is some differentiation in how males and females are fed when they're currently on the dairy farm. So the most unique finding of the National Dairy Study was that we found that a lot of Canadian dairy producers are in fact treating male calves quite well when they're in their care. So they're always feeding them colostrum and they're feeding males very similar to females. So one thing that I think dairy producers can improve on is, is their euthanasia practices when they're on farm. So one of the findings that we found was that some dairy producers are in fact using inappropriate methods to euthanize uh, male calves at birth. So really my research program for the next little while, uh, kind of building forward from what we found in the National Dairy Study, was, was trying to figure out how, how are certain Canadian dairy producers treating um, males and females differently. So one of the specific questions that we found was that about 17% of Canadian dairy producers are in fact not feeding males the same as females. So really the question that I really want to explore further is, is what is the differences that, that are being fed? And the reason that I want to explore that is to see if we can feed males calves better, can we actually reduce some of the morbidity and mortality that we're seeing in the veal industry and the dairy beef industry where these calves are destined to go to? So where you can find more information on this topic is you can go to the nationaldairystudy.ca uh, website. Uh, thanks for watching.